Australia is one of the top 10 highest paying destination for pharmacists. In Australia, average pharmacist salary is around 94,000 Australian dollars without tax reduction. In this video, I'm going to talk about the steps required to get registered as a pharmacist in Australia. As well as due to COVID-19, there have been some updates and changes in the process. This will be also discussed in this video. In this video, I'm not going to talk about visa options to enter Australia. In this video, it's all about the pharmacist registration process, the eligibility criteria, the CAPS exam skill assessment, the internship, language requirements, the general registration, written exam, oral exam and everything. So keep watching completely so that you don't miss any step and you don't miss any recent changes in, the, in those steps due to COVID-19. Eligibility is a four-year pharmacy course, four-year academic pharmacy course, which means B Farm, M Farm and Farm D are eligible to apply. Along with this, you also should be a registered pharmacist in that country where you have graduated or at least you should be eligible for registration as a pharmacist in that country where you have graduated. In skill assessment, your documents are verified. You have to submit your proof of identity, academic qualifications, your registration certificate in that country. If you are submitting a work experience, which is optional, a fresher can also apply. But if you have a sufficient experience, you can submit that. Uh, for that, you will have to work in a retail pharmacy or a hospital pharmacy at least more than 20 hours a week. Or you should have an experience within last 10 years. So there is a criteria if you're submitting work experience as well. And you should also submit your CV, your work history, then your registration during the period of employment. So all your documents have to be submitted. Skill assessment will be done. And after that, it, it's a eight weeks uh, timing. Within eight weeks or after eight weeks, you will get an eligibility letter to write or apply for CAPS exam. So once you got your email confirming that you're eligible, you can apply for CAPS exam. So CAPS exam is Knowledge Assessment of Pharmaceutical Sciences. So this is a two paper exam which should be completed on the same day. It's a two hour paper. Each paper is two hours and the syllabus and the link to the sample papers will be given in the description box. You will have to score more than 50 percentage to pass CAPS exam. You will always have to check the official website because the number of questions, the exam pattern can change. It depends. So, Coming to language requirements. So four tests are acceptable. Number one is academic IELTS exam. You have to score seven each and overall band of seven. Secondly, PTE exam, which is also, uh, which also should be academic have to score at least 65 points then comes OET exam you have to have a B grade then TOEFL IBT is also acceptable you have to score at least 94 points internship should be done under a supervision of a registered pharmacist you will have to complete your internship in a community setting or you can also do it in a hospital setting so before COVID-19 you will you had to complete 1,824 hours now this has been reduced to 1,575 hours of internship during internship you will have to apply for a provisional registration which is also done in the Australian Pharmacy Council website after completing 40% of your internship hours, you are eligible to write the written exam. So the written exam will include topics like medication management, patient care, professionalism, law and ethics. 
After completing 75% of internship hours, you can then sit for your oral examinations. You have to pass your written exam and oral exam separately within 18 months. After your oral examination, you can then go for your general registration, your registration license to practice as a pharmacist in Australia. I hope this video was informative to everyone. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day ahead and thanks for watching.